Hey, what's up? We're going to look at prefixes. Physics as a subject deals with the really small, things like fundamental particles like quarks and leptons, and the really huge, the universe at large. So we have to deal with really small numbers and really large numbers. And the way we do that is using prefixes. So what are prefixes? Prefixes are symbols used before a unit that represents a power of 10. So we're going to look at a few of them today. So for small quantities and for large quantities, we've got different prefixes. Let's look at the small ones first. So D stands for deci, and the power of 10 for that is times 10 to the minus 1. Centi is times 10 to the minus 2. Milli times 10 to the minus 3. This symbol here is mu, which is a Greek letter, and it represents micro, which is times 10 to the power of minus 6. Little n stands for nano, which is times 10 to the minus 9. P stands for pico, which is times 10 to the minus 12. And that's the smallest prefix we'll need for the OCR course. For large quantities, we use the prefixes on the right. So you can see K stands for kilo, which is times 10 to the 3. Capital M stands for mega, which is times 10 to the 6. Capital G stands for giga, which is times 10 to the 9. And capital T stands for terra, which is times 10 to the 12. It's really important that you commit these to memory because so many questions require you to use these pre prefixes to make sure you do your calculations correctly. So let's have a look at how we use them. A few examples. So we've got 250 millimetres. All we have to do is replace the prefix. So we do 250 times 10 to the minus 3 metres. Number two, 375 kilonewtons. Kilo means times 10 to the 3, so we get 375 times 10 to the 3 newtons. 0.1 picocoulombs, which is 0.1 times 10 to the power of minus 12 coulombs. 6,400 centimetres, so we do 6,400 times 10 to the minus 2 metres. Here we've got 6.5 times 10 to the minus 3 micrometres. It's that Greek letter mu. So that's 6.5 times 10 to the power of minus 3 times 10 to the power of minus 6 metres. We're just going to use our rules of indices, which gives us 6.5 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. Finally, 23 times 10 to the power of minus 4 teranewtons. Terra is times 10 to the 12. So we do 23 times 10 to the power of minus 4 times by 10 to the power of 12 newtons, which is 23 times 10 to the 8 newtons. It is as simple as that. You look at the prefix and you replace it with a power of 10 before you do any calculations. The only time it gets tricky is when we start looking at areas and volumes. So let's take kilometre as an example. Kilo means times 10 to the 3. A kilometre squared, however, though, is a kilometre multiplied by a kilometre. So that's times 10 to the 3 metres times by 10 to the 3 metres, which gives us 10 to the 6 metre squared. We have to add the powers there. So a kilometre squared is actually times 10 to the 6 meter squared. And a kilometer cubed, we have to add the power once more, so we get times 10 to the 9 meters cubed. For centimeters, we have times 10 to minus 2, so that becomes times 10 to the power of minus 4 meters squared, and centimeter cubed times 10 to the power of minus 6 meters cubed. Millimeter squared, we get times 10 to the minus 6 meters squared, and times 10 to the power of minus 9 meters cubed. For micrometers, we have times 10 to the power of minus 6, so that micrometer squared becomes times 10 to the power of minus 12 meter squared. And for micrometers cubed, times 10 to the power of minus 18 meters cubed. Nanometers is times 10 to the minus 9, so if we add minus 9 to that, we get times 10 to the minus 18 meter squared for a nanometer squared. And for a nanometer cubed, we get times 10 to the power of minus 27 meters cubed. Picometers, which is the smallest that will go. A picometer is times 10 to the minus 12 of a meter. So picometer squared, we need to add the powers again. So we get times 10 to the power of minus 24 meter squared. And a picometer cubed is times 10 to the power of minus 36 meters cubed. So how do we use these? It's exactly the same. You look at the prefix, but you just got to be aware of the powers. So with 25 centimeters squared, that becomes 25 times 10 to the power of minus 4 meter squared. For three kilometers cubed, that gives us three times 10 to the nine meters cubed. For 250 micrometers cubed, that gives us 250 times 10 to the power of minus 18 meters cubed. 
And 4 times 10 to the power of minus 6 nanometers is 4 times 10 to the power of minus 6 times by a nanometer squared, which is times 10 to the minus 18 meter squared, which gives us 4 times 10 to the power of minus 24 meter squared. It's exactly the same process. You look at the prefix and you replace it with the correct power of 10. You just got to be really careful when it's areas and volumes. So in summary, prefixes are simply used to represent a power of 10. All you need to do is memorize all of these prefixes for the small quantities, for the large quantities, for areas and for volumes and replace the prefix with a power of 10. And that's it. It's so simple. Thanks for listening. See you all soon.